<laughs> All right, once again, we are back with what's trending in San Diego in October. What do we got? Uh, first, we have Kevin Hart, which is a big deal, coming to perform at the Vieja Arena on October 14th and 15th. I have no idea how much those tickets cost, but I bet they cost a lot. Yeah, they are pricey. I think the cheapest one I saw online was about 200 bucks, and Ooh. they go up from there. That's at uh, Vieja Arena at San Diego State University. Sounds like a good show. It's expensive. Quite expensive, though. Very, very, very expensive. It's a, a good, expensive show. <laughs> so if you like Kevin Hart, go check it out. Okay, next we're going to talk about what concerts are going on here sure. in October, the month of October here in San Diego. What do we got? I'm going to tell you about Willie Nelson coming on October 19th to Humphreys by the Bay. I mention it because I love Humphreys. I think that's such a cool Is venue. Is that your favorite venue to watch? Uh, so far in San Diego for outdoor, mm -hmm. yes, it might be. I haven't been to the Rady Shell yet. I just went to Rady Shell last week. Uh, last week to see mm -hmm. Tom Segura in concert. Great show. My only recommendation is not to sit in the last like five rows, which is where we yeah. sat, because that was like the cheapest ticket we could find. Because you cannot actually see the stage if you're in the uh, in the triple letter, like the LLL, the GGG rows. Sure. Don't sit there. Spend a little bit more money and get the better seats. Otherwise, you're just watching it on a screen. And by contrast, Humphreys, I think every seat is great. So you always get a good view. It's just a smaller venue and it's beautiful. You're outside by the bay. It's on yes. a shelter island. And Radius is just absolutely gorgeous. So yeah. definitely check it out. Just get a better seat than I have. Yeah. We have Florence and the Machine, who is going to be playing okay. also at San Diego State, but at the Open Air Amphitheater. Yes. Is it Cal Cal California. Cal Coast Credit Union. Union. Open air theater. It's a mouthful. I swear they change the names of these uh, amphitheaters every year, so it is very confusing. It's confusing. So just be aware of which one you're going to. Because yeah. I thought this one was the one in Chula Vista. Me too. Different, different amphitheater. All so. together. And that's yes. on October 12th that she's performing. Correct. And then we had a change in schedule here in October. We were supposed to have Jimmy Buffett come and play at the beautiful new Snapdragon Stadium, and he had to cancel that show due to some health concerns yes. health I don't know if that I don't think it's permanently canceled I think it's gonna be pushed rescheduled. as long as he yeah so that was better. that was supposed to be October 22nd and he's uh, had to to reschedule that event so if you had tickets to that be aware that it's he's not gonna be there on don't October show up don't on show the 22nd up. Okay. all right and obviously this is the month of October there's a lot of things that go on in October such as Oktoberfest mm -hmm. And there are a, a few cities here in, or towns, like neighborhoods in San Diego that do some really good Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest, yeah. There's one down in La Mesa that puts on a really good yep. Oktoberfest. Also the one in OB, I think that might be the most famous one here from when I, I've never been to the OB Oktoberfest. Ocean but Beach, They've sure. been doing it for many, many years and they put on a pretty good show down there for Oktoberfest. Nice. And then also Carlsbad also has a really good uh, Oktoberfest. The one in OB is October 7th and October 8th, so I think that's a Friday, Saturday, or Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. And you probably do have to buy tickets for some of these, right? Yes. It's $10 general admission for the OB one. Mm -hmm. Some of the other ones, I think they're just kind of general And you pay pay thing. for whatever you eat. Your right. pretzels, your your sausages, your beer, sure. your steins of beer. Exactly. I love Oktoberfest. And if you want to go fun. a little bit farther travel outside of San Diego, Big Bear Lake actually does a really good Oktoberfest. Oh, cool. They bring in like German bands. And oh, I love that. All the sausages. Polka, Oompa bands. Big beer steins. Yeah, that's so fun. They put on a really good one. But a little that's bit really farther. Fun. But just FYI. Part of my favorite part of October is Halloween. Uh, you and started decorating for Halloween like I did. at Christmas time. It was I the think. end of August. It was the end of August. Yes. Don't tell anyone. Um, so we have a lot of cool Halloween activities that go on here in San Diego. Uh, we have Brick or Treat at Legoland, which mm -hmm. is great for younger kids and really cool. You can dress up and you go around and you can get candy all around sure. the park, which is really cool. Uh, SeaWorld has Howl Scream, which is maybe a little better for older kids if you go at night because it is like a it's haunted. like a haunted house. Is it, it scary? Is. It's, yeah, it's pretty we'll scary. Check it out this year. Pretty scary. And then you also have Hal Gloween. Hal Gloween. Hal Gloween is the uh, celebration that they do at the San Diego Zoo, which is specifically weekends only. So know that it's the weekends in October and it's uh, i believe extended hours into the night and they do like glow in the dark stuff with performances and they have some bands and they have uh dancers and traveling musicians that are walking around the zoo and then they have you know other spooky halloween theme activities going on that's that sounds like fun actually i love i love everything they do at the zoo and if you like haunted things check out our haunted san diego video up oh, here that we I did love that video. Uh, like two years ago which was really fun it was they also do cool things like the whaley house too which we st i still have never been inside the whaley house mainly because i'm like slightly too scared, scared of going in he's too scared that's true mm -hmm. um but a lot of 
great Halloween activities here yeah, in San Diego. Definitely. A new restaurant that's coming to, uh, I guess it's kind of like a restaurant. Bar. That's coming, bar, restaurant coming to San Diego that we always like to mention like one new thing that's coming up here. Mm -hmm. uh, and this one is a karaoke themed down in the gas lamp I called love that. the gas lamp lighter. Gas lamp lighter. It's actually not supposed to open up till like, I think the early in the new year. Courtney loves karaoke. Karaoke, awesome. So um, she's going to be the first visitor of that place when it <laughs> opens in uh, 2023. I'm so keep an eye out. out for that. I'm camping out outside. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right, another big thing coming here in October. Actually, they've just announced it's not coming in October, but they announced it here. Uh, is another ride, another new crazy roller coaster at SeaWorld. Sea Are you World, complaining about it? I I'm like not. Complaining. I just feel like SeaWorld is just, I mean, they're just banging them out with these crazy roller coasters one after the well, other. Well, they're definitely turning more into like an amusement park rather than like the ocean An adventure things just because yeah. they've gone through some little bit of bad PR over the years as sure. everyone knows. So it's gonna be, they're definitely doubling down on the ride. They had to pivot. That's right. They had to pivot. It's more like you're gonna be on like a, a snowmobile, pretending like you're on a snowmobile going through all these different things. And it's it like actually looked pretty it's cool. Like a roller coaster, it's like a roller coaster, though? yeah. Ooh, that sounds fun. I saw the little trailer they had online. It was, oh, it looked, nice. It actually looked kind of cool. It so. Goes up to 40 miles an hour, they said. That's pretty fast. That is pretty fast. Okay. All right, SeaWorld, I see you. So that will, again, won't open until like sometime next year, but it was just announced uh, just this past week. Okay. Also, one new community that's coming to the San Diego area. This is located in the Rancho Penasquitas neighborhood. It's a 55 plus uh, community, which means you have to be 55 or mm -hmm. older to live there. And it's going to be located in Rancho Penasquitas just off the 15 freeway. Those are supposed to be going for sale very soon because they've already graded the whole area. Yeah. And the building should start very soon. There's no pricing on it yet, but they range from about like 1,100 square feet up into like around 2,000 square feet, I think. Yeah. Two bedrooms up to four bedrooms. So. If you are looking for a 55 plus community, I would check that out. And it's like, again, it's by Lennar. So you can go on Lennar's website and check those out. I just drove by there the other day, actually. It is gonna be quite close to the freeway. They do have a pretty large plot of land. For sure. Too. And it actually is marketed as active adult. Does that mean they're gonna have a lot of activities? <laughs> no, do do? I think it's mean? another way of saying 55 and up without saying 55 and up. Okay, it yeah. sounds better. Yes, exactly. But so you have to be 55 plus to be living there. That's in the fine print. Yes. But they wanna say active adult. They, or, it just sounds better. It does, it yeah. sounds cool. You're in there playing tennis yeah. and pickleball and whatnot. Right, so, exactly. Yeah. So, I like pickleball. Yeah, you wanna go to But there. I can't live there, so no. not yet. Okay, I wanted to mention the Wave, our women's football club here that play at Snapdragon Stadium that has Alex Morgan on our team, which is such a big deal. They have made it to the playoffs. Mm -hmm. So in the month of October, there is the possibility that they will have a playoff game at Snapdragon Stadium. And if they do, that's gonna be a hot ticket. It's gonna sell out fast. Get in there if you can. There's even a local girl on the Wave team who went to Del Norte High School. Her that's name cool. is Taylor Hansen. Not from Hanson. Not Hanson. Yeah, <laughs> Not the <Mbop>. band. <laughs> uh, but no, super cool if you want to go out and support that local team. They are really gaining yeah, a I'm ton actually of popularity going, here. I'm going to the last the regular season game this, right, this Friday. We're going to go too. Yeah. Oh, we have tickets. Oh, why don't you go? Because it's my daughter's homecoming. Oh. We sold them. A nice man bought them from me. Oh, nice. I could have sold them to you. I know. I already Shoot. have the tickets. So. Okay, okay. But yes, go out and support the Wave. I think they were the first female football team to have a, a sellout too. When I oh, heard. yeah. At so, Snapdragon Stadium, which Snapdragon. is a big deal. Yeah. Because so that seats, that's what, like 35,000? 30. 40,000? Something like that. Something like Don't that. Don't quote us on that. No, but it's supposed <laughs> to be a really, really good time. So we'll get the report from Byrne on For sure. whether it yeah, is. Yeah, maybe I'll do a little vlog on it yeah. too, so we'll see. All right. Last but not least on our list here is our outdoor movie night that we are going Yay! to do on October 15th. The, the whole uh, Everyone is invited, so if you guys want to come out, check it out. Mm -hmm. Go to our website, livinginsandiego.com, and this will have all the information on there where you can RSVP. We'll have free, free pizza, free popcorn, free ice cream, yes. magician, face painters, the whole thing. So it'll start at 4 p.m. Hopefully you guys can all join us. That's at Torrey Meadows Park. Torrey Meadows Park in uh, Torrey Highlands. If you guys know where that is, right, mm -hmm. off, right off the 56. Mm -hmm. So we'd love to have you. We're going to be featuring the bad guys. I, it's uh, a good movie. movie. I actually have not seen it yet, it's but good. I've heard good things. And you mentioned it's October 15th. October Saturday. 15th, starting at 4 p.m. The movie will start around 6.30 p.m. once the sun goes down. Yep. Hopefully you guys can all join us and say hello. And uh, we We're there. See We're there. We, we want to see you in person. It's a and free event. Come out. Just RSVP. Yes. And Courtney loves hugs. So just, just get, get right after it. Burn loves when you give him like a noogie <laughs> and just mess up his hair. So all right. That. <laughs> that is our list of what's trending in San Diego. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to try to do one of these once a month and just tell you what's going on in our fair city here. Yes. Thanks for watching. Catch us next time. Bye. Bye.